what is up my friends we are back with another wednesday comic book haul this time for wednesday march 27th 2019 if this is your first time coming through the channel thanks a lot for stopping by i really appreciate you giving the channel a shot hopefully you see some things that you like or you just enjoy the vibe of the video overall and if you do please be sure to like share with your friends subscribe and comment don't be shy i love hearing from each and every one of you Current subscribers, you guys and girls are awesome. I tell you every week and I will not stop. Thanks for hanging out with me week in and week out. So I have a lot that I want to get into this video. Um, the haul isn't necessarily a crazy one. Uh, hashtag still, what a light week. But it's not particularly um, you know, heavy this week. So we'll get into that shortly. But there are some things that I want to cover. First of all being... The response that I got last week from the question, uh, what were your goals for 2019, was phenomenal. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to comment and letting me know what their goals were. There were some great answers, and uh, I really appreciate all of that chatter. <laughs> I heard a lot about um, either creating a budget, sticking to a budget, cutting back on the amount of books um, that you know people were getting, I heard a lot about that. I also heard a lot about uh, people wanting to go to, to a Comic-Con for their first time or travel to different ones that they, that they haven't been to for their first time. And I heard a lot about uh, people wanting to grab grails uh, slash keys that they're interested in. And I always love hearing about that type of stuff. Um, I'm weird in the, in the fact that I love knowing what other people are interested in. Um, th that just moves me for some reason. Because I, I don't... While we don't always like everything... You know, it's cool that people are enthused about what they like. And I, I love that energy. Um, and that keeps me um, heavily grounded in the comic book community because I love seeing what people get. I love hearing about what people get. It's just fascinating to me uh, what people find interesting and what they're passionate about. So that's really dope. So as far as the grill and key conversation goes, I wanted to take the time, <laughs> albeit during the 60th video that I posted, to explain uh, what I was getting at when I created the name Grab Those Keys. And what I was getting at, what I had in mind, was just expressing um, grabbing those things that you're interested in. While it might not, not necessarily be a key to anyone else, it's a personal key to you, kind of like a grail. I know that's probably more reserved for the grail title, but um, just grabbing those things that you're interested in, regardless of what anyone else thinks. Sometimes, you know, you may have something you may find that your key is something that everyone wants and you might may find that it's something that no one could care less about or you know people could care less about so it's just about grabbing those things that are important to you and if it's one book that's fine if it's a few that's fine too but just you know staying grounded and grabbing those things that we like is pretty much what I was getting at if that makes any sense and that kind of pushes me or steers me to a topic of much debate currently which is basically just buy what you like. <laughs> I know each week it's tempting to buy the hot book of the week and things like that, but just make sure, you know, in order to not burn yourself out, be sure to buy things that you like. And hopefully, you know, from time to time, things that you like will, you know, kind of link up with things that are hot at the moment. Um, it's very easy since every week there's a new character being introduced, there's an origin, there's a hot cover, there's so many things that can uh, pull us away from our actual goals as comic book collectors and comic book enthusiasts. Um, just make sure you stay grounded and remember why you got into comic books because you could definitely go broke <laughs> and burn yourself out very quickly trying to keep up with the Joneses, as they say. So if I could offer any advice, just we didn't get into this hobby to be stressed out. So just remember that I, I make sure to tell people that all the time when they say, you know, to me, you're very nonchalant, you know, things like that. My demeanor is very cool. I did not get into this hobby to be pulling my hair out, you know, so have fun. Moral of the story, have fun. Speaking of having fun, I had some fun a few weeks ago and I bought one book, not once, not twice, but three times because it is one of those books that's really important to me. One of those first books that I really enjoyed. Um, if you've been around for a while, you probably know what it is. Uh, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it's one of the books on display right now. But I didn't have a first print. It was kind of eating at me. I really wanted one. 
they dried up on the market for quite a while, um, at least for, for my eyes. They may have always been available, I just couldn't find them. But I was able to come across three copies and I snatched up three copies. So let's get into this. First being, well, first being a beautiful copy of Batman Elmer Fudd, number one. This is one of those books that just got my attention immediately in comic books. One, of, uh, Maybe second or third book that I read, and I was hooked ever since then. So it's one of those things that, depending on how this book went, I probably would not be uh, where I am today collecting as many books as I have been. So I bought this online. It's a beautiful, beautiful copy. I'm a stickler for condition, and I just noticed... Um, nothing to complain about or send the book back about, but there was a minor bend down here at the corner and um, it just led me to search for another book. Just so happens there was a 9.8 available at the time and I made sure <laughs> to grab that up. And again, like I said, this is a book that's really important to me just one of those things I love so I had to have it and uh, a 9.8 is great I also bought this this variant copy online and it was already a 9.8 I had it signed at Baltimore Comic Con by Tom King and Lee Weeks and it came back at a 9.8 so I want to do the same thing with this uh, current or this, this issue right here and hopefully I can lightning can strike twice and uh, it stays a 9.8 they will be at Baltimore Comic Con this year I think that information was released yesterday, or at least I saw it yesterday. So I can't wait for that. This will be going with me, or with us, I should say. My girlfriend will definitely be there by my side the whole step of the way, or every step of the way. And because of that minor bend, <laughs> I just kinda uh, jumped out the window again and bought another copy. Lo and behold, again, Nothing to cry about, but I just noticed there was a minor spine tick up here in the corner, in the upper corner. But both beautiful copies. I can't complain, especially for the price. You know, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Again, like I said, I didn't get into this hobby to be stressed out. Now, if this whole thing had, like, color rub on it or something, I would probably freak out then. But they're both really, really great copies, um, in my opinion. So, thanks for taking a look at that. I've been meaning to share that with the fam for quite some time. Now we can get into this week's haul and have some fun. We'll start off with DC. And we have Super Sons, a graphic novel. I didn't realize that this book would be like a miniature. <laughs> Not that it matters, but it was funny to see um, that it was just a, a smaller book. The artwork looks really good. It reminds me of Disney artwork, if I'm being honest. Not that that's a problem, but it just you know gives me that vibe. But can't wait to read this one. I love the Super Sons. This will be read soon. Moving on. Beautiful cover. Hex Wives. This is issue number six. I am about four issues behind <laughs> at this point. I really enjoyed it when I read it. It just fell by the wayside, but I will definitely get to it. Sometimes it's fun um, when things stack up uh, unintentionally. And then you just have five copies to go through and just read at one time, which is pretty cool. So Hex Wife was a good read based off of the first two issues. So I can't wait to see how the story's been progressing. And this is a really beautiful cover. Those of us who are old enough to remember Bewitched, this probably reminds you of that. Nick at Night style. Um, another book, hot book today i shouldn't say hot book a very maybe hot book but there was a lot of chatter about this one batman 80 years detective comics 1000 i was able to get the jim lee Mid midnight release variant so the jim lee midnight release beautiful cover i really was excited when i found out that they were doing this cover in particular because i know the initial one was a wraparound cover and i just love this all laid out just like this. Um, I love anytime Damien's involved you know, on the cover and it's a great portrayal of him on this issue. So great artwork, 
Love it, love it, love it. This may have to be graded. If you were into the Batman 1000 or Detective Comics 1000, let me know which variant you grabbed. Uh, so the new hashtag to go along with uh, What a Light Week will be uh, Red on New Comic Book Day. So I'll put that up. Um, I like reading on New Comic Book Day, especially that I do the since I do these videos. I like to have a little bit more to talk about and uh, you know shout out things that are interesting for me. Shazam issue number four, Prisoners in the Wildlands. I'm loving Shazam. Uh, totally separate from the movie. Um, I just kind of picked this up one day based off the cover. And I've been having a really good time with it. I had no idea what was going on with Shazam, the story, prior to reading issue number one. Um, I didn't go down the rabbit hole of figuring out what was going on with the movie. So this was completely new to me. And I have been enjoying it um, very, very much. So much so, I bought a uh, statue a few weeks ago. You can check that out on my Instagram page if you like. So this was issue number Four. That's the A cover. And I grabbed a few copies of this Jim Lee B cover, which looks fantastic. Really, really love this cover. Another one of my reads for tonight. Dial H for Hero. Number one. Dare to Answer the Call. It seems like this might be added to my pull list. I had a good good time reading this tonight. Uh, I can't wait for issue number two. I had no pre, uh, you know, no information about Dial H for Hero prior to this issue. So I'm really excited to see what happens going forward. I believe there's an introduction of a new character in this one. Um, well, I know there is since I read it, but <laughs> it was a great read. And I'm looking forward to reading more for Dial H for Hero. This is the B cover, which is pretty cool. A lot going on there. The Flash, issue 67. Fantastic B cover. And that is by Ryan Sook. It looks very, very stunning. Um, I don't think the camera does it justice. Just in person, it really pops. The Terrifics. Issue number 14. Melee in the Multiverse. Love the Terrifics. I'm still a little behind. Um... I'm still waiting on some T-Spheres to come in the mail. I can't wait to have some of my own. <laughs> I just think that's a really cool gadget, and I, I definitely want them. Uh, but the Terrifics, issue number 14. Uh, Batgirl, issue number 33. Beautiful cover by Yasmin Putri. I ordered a few of these before I saw the cover um, through Midtown. Uh, just in case, I know that Yasmin Putri stuff is kind of, uh, is really sought after these days uh, for good reason. But I just bought this one, Sight Unseen, which I rarely do. But So I have a few more coming in the mail. Now we're moving on to Marvel. Moving pretty fast here. Uh, Avengers No Road Home, another one of my reads for the night. Loving this title. Continues to be a quality, quality read. Uh, can't wait for issue number eight. Can't wait for, you know, eight through ten. <laughs> I'm reading every one of those uh, on New Comic Book Day for sure. I still feel like Conan is a great addition to the story. And I'm looking forward to seeing more um, or how they, they'll use him more as the story progresses. Guardians of the Galaxy. Fuji Cat uh, variant. Pretty cool. It's 
kind of one of those why not covers. <laughs> Fantastic Four. Beautiful, beautiful cover. This is the variant cover. Another Avengers No Road Home. This is the variant cover by Phil Noto. The A cover was done by Yasmin Putri. And I have not one, but two copies of Hunted the Amazing Spider-Man. This really cool cover, or at least I think really cool cover. Ended up with two of those bad boys. Moving on to image, we have The Realm. This is a really cool cover. This is issue number 12. I'm a little bit behind only because I'm missing one issue that I keep forgetting to pick up. Um, I really need to do that soon. I have, a, I have a really good time reading The Realm. I think it's a great story, great concept, and I'm looking forward to finishing or catching up, I should say, on The Realm. This is the A cover, and it looks amazing. Spidey fan, your favorite book? Man Eaters. <laughs> I'm uh, two issues behind at this point. I have to read issue number six and then uh, issue number seven, but I will do that sometime soon. Can't wait to see what's happening in this story. It's been pretty cool so far. This is the B cover. Cullen Bunn, Bone Parish, continues to not disappoint. He is, uh, what, four for four for me? I think I've read four of his titles at this point. I know at least three, but I'm sure I'm missing one. Uh, Bone Parish is fantastic. I look forward to it. I wish they would come out sooner. Um, <laughs> it's just how much I, I really enjoy it. So um, Bone Parish, issue number eight, Boom Studios. Swinging back around to Image, one of my favorite titles, something I look forward to with a passion, The Ice Cream Man. The A cover. This issue was fantastic, um, in my opinion. I really enjoyed the concept. There was definitely um, some glimpses of the real world in this. <laughs> a certain family kind of shows up in this issue. Um, I won't give anything away, but if Ice Cream Man is your bag, you know how good it is. If it's not, if you're into anthology horror stories, um, you may want to give this one a shot. It's a pretty good, pretty cool concept. Um, I've been looking forward to this issue in particular just based off of this cover. And uh, it did not disappoint. The cover is pretty much what you see is what you get kind of thing. But it's uh, still unexpected nonetheless. Fantastic read. Um, I, I may read it again tonight before I go to bed, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It, it, I really enjoy it. And I was able to pick up a copy of the B cover, which is fantastic. I'm sure. I wonder if this one will spike like the one um, that came out on Halloween did. I made sure to get two copies. I have another copy coming in the mail of uh, both the A and B covers because I want to get the whole run uh, graded this year, which is one of my goals. Um, I, everyone shared their goals with me. I did not share my goals with everyone else, so let me do that now. Um, I figured I'd do it in a video anyway, but one of my goals, I have a few, but my main one is to have a few of my favorite titles, uh, the complete runs graded in 9.8. So that's a goal of mine, and this isn't something I'm doing for like any real lengthy runs, but things that are, you know, let's say 1 to 15 issues maybe is probably the highest I'll go. But that's just something I want to do, and it may only be, you know, three titles, but I want to get a few under my belt. I think that would be pretty cool uh, for my collection. So there you have it, my friends. Let's, um, no. Let's throw in a few more, just for good measure. 
I still have piles uh, staring at me to share, so why not take this time to do so and have some fun? A little bonus. Let's do Marvel, Amazing Spider-Man, number 15, Scrolls variant. Beautiful book. I had to order this one from Midtown. None of my shops had it, or if they had it, people snatched them up before I got to the shop, <laughs> which is very possible. But um, this is a beautiful cover. Really excited to have this one. Uh, let's go to Image for Reborn, issue number one. Beautiful copy of a beautiful cover. Happy to have that one in my collection. I was surprised that it was still available. I know that there's a there's a lot of hype around this book right now, or at least there was around the time that I bought it. So it's pretty cool to have this one. Mark Miller is another fantastic writer. I really enjoy his work. I have not read any of Reborn yet, but I'm sure I will get to it at some point. Uh, let's go back to Marvel for Hulk Marines. The Scrolls cover for issue number one. Beautiful cover. Marvel again, The Punisher, Mary Jane Watson. She's different, she's deadly, she's Mary Jane Watson. <laughs> this was just a beautiful cover. One of those things I was able to pick up for a sweet deal. 30% off, I want to say. Um, so, couldn't pass it up. This is issue number 13, the variant edition, The Punisher. Beautiful cover. In great shape. Uh, let's do Life of Captain Marvel, issue number five. That's a beautiful cover right there. This was another one I got for 30% off, so I couldn't pass it up. Just going through the variant box, saw it, had to have it, and got it for a nice deal. Uh, let's do a few more. Let's get one pile done. Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number two. Love this cover for some reason. I'm surprised I still see them around. Um, I'm always surprised when I see them around. For some reason in my mind, people would snatch this up, but such was not the case and I was able to get a copy. I haven't started reading Guardians of the Galaxy yet, but I want to, and I'm sure um, from what I hear, people are enjoying it. Let's move over to DC for a minute, for a second. Harley Quinn, issue number 59, the variant cover, beautiful cover. Uh, Avengers, No Road Home, this is issue number four. I believe this is the connecting cover. Been really enjoying the covers for No Road Home along with the story. I cannot speak highly enough of the story. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, issue number four, variant cover. Spider Villains. I bought this, you know, when it came out. I want to say the weekend it came out and uh, forgot about it. Saw it on Instagram and immediately started rummaging through my collection. I was like, I, I know I have to have this one. <laughs> if I didn't, I was going to have to be I was going to have to get online and get a copy. This cover is really, really beautiful. And I would love to have this one graded and added to the graded pile. I just love the color contrast on this copy. Let's go to one more book. Just so happens I have two of them. The Six Million Dollar Man by Dynamite. And I was able to grab two copies. There was a short time there, I don't know if this is still the case, but uh, there was a time where it was sold out then it came back online, or I'm just talking about for Midtown. It was sold out on Midtown, then it came back. I'm not sure if it's sold out again, but um, I made sure to get some copies at my local Second and Charles, so I'm a happy camper.
So there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed all of the books. I tried to throw in some extras for you just so we could have a good time. I can't wait to hear about what you got this week, what you're looking forward to next week, what you're reading, all that good stuff. I'm here to talk to. <laughs> so get back out there, my friends, and grab those books.